Hey, welcome to Travis Vibes. Today I'm checking out Coolify. I just started using this myself and I've been really impressed by it. So wanted to shout it from the rooftops and actually go step by step through setting up Coolify for your own projects. So let's dive in. Let's spend a minute just talking a little bit about what Coolify is. As you can see from their landing page, it's an open source, self-hostable, Heroku, Netlify, or Vercel alternative. And I really enjoy using Vercel myself. I have several projects hosted there. But as I do more and more experimenting with open source applications and hosting small projects for other people, the costs can escalate quickly. With Coolify, you're fully in control of the underlying infrastructure that's hosting Coolify and your apps. And so you're not going to have any surprise bills. And with even a small virtual host from DigitalOcean, Hetzner, other providers, you can run a lot of applications and pay small amount monthly. So it's a really good option if you want a way of deploying a lot of your own projects without worrying about skyrocketing cloud costs. The great thing is you still get a very easy to use web interface for both deploying, configuring, and monitoring all these applications that you're running. So it's really impressive that this is such a powerful tool that's fully open source. I wanna step through everything I need to do to get this running. I have my own Coolify already running for some of my projects, but I wanted to start from scratch with you so that you see, like I said, every step along the way. And yeah, we'll learn together. I'm by no means a Coolify expert. I just started using it myself in the last couple of weeks. So if there's anything that I don't get 100% correct, please drop a comment and of course, like and subscribe and we will get going. You have two options when it comes to how to set Coolify up. You can run Coolify completely self-hosted, meaning even the setup app is running on your own server as well. Or you can pay $5 a month to Coolify for them to host that aspect of it. And you can connect two of your own, bring your own servers to their cloud. We're going to go with this cloud setup because the $5 a month, it's worth removing that layer of self-management, in my opinion. And for my projects, um, two servers is enough to host a lot of small apps. You wouldn't even need to start hitting additional servers anytime soon. We'll start by setting up a Coolify Cloud account. Go verify my email quickly. I have verified. We're gonna have to set up the $5 a month. I will go off screen to pay with my credit card and we'll be right back. All right, we gave our credit card to Stripe. Now we're going to go through the basics of the Coolify setup. Coolify is an all-in-one application to automate tasks on your servers, deploy applications with Git integration. That's really important. So you get the automatic redeploys on pushes to GitHub, which is always nice if you want it. All right. Self-hosting with superpowers. Let's go. So you're going to need an SSH key in order to access. The reason that you're going to need to set up this SSH key is because Coolify is going to use that to access your servers that you deploy either on Hetzner, DigitalOcean, Linode, etc. And so you'll be using the same SSH key on those servers and that's how Coolify is going to be able to access them. I'm going to go ahead and make a new SSH key just for this demo. If you need any help with this, ChatGPT is really good at giving instructions on making a key. And we have our new key and the pub 
meaning public key, is typically what you'll be sharing. And the Coolify key is your private key. And you don't want anyone to ever have access to that or they can basically do anything you can do. So make sure never to show that to anyone. And in this case, for Coolify, we need the private key because we're going to be accessing our servers using that private key. So we'll do PB copy. Okay, now that we have given our private key to Coolify, it's ready for us to give it access to a server. So Coolify can then access that server and set everything up it needs automatically. So as far as where you can host the underlying servers, any cloud provider that allows you to install base Linux operating systems. I'm using Debian for my Coolify setup, Debian 12. Today, we will use Hetzner. I've also used DigitalOcean and it's worked well. So it's whichever provider you're most comfortable with, but you can't go wrong with Hetzner. I believe Coolify actually hosts its infrastructure on Hetzner. So it's a solid choice. So let's go ahead and jump into Hetzner and set up a server and see that process. I'm not gonna go through the entire signup process of Hetzner. It's a standard signup process. So if you don't have an account, you should be able to make one. I'll create a new project. We'll call this Coolify YouTube and we will deploy the $5 a month includes two servers. So you can expand the capacity of how many apps you can host by adding additional servers. We'll just do a single server, which is fine to start with. You don't need to immediately have more than one. So I'll create a server. I'm going to try to pick a location that's as close to where I reside. That's going to give me the best performance. I will be choosing Debian 12. That's worked well for me with the setup. And then you have a choice of shared versus dedicated. We're going to be using a shared server. They're a lot less expensive and they'll be fine for our needs. And you can see we're starting out I think you actually could get away with the cheapest $5 a month if you just want to run a, you know, some static websites, some really basic blogs. We're going to go with the second tier up, the four gigs of RAM. That'll give us more capacity to get more apps onto our Coolify. So that's really it. We're going to choose that. Networking, nothing needs to change. Ah, SSH key, this is important. This is where we need to add the same key that we added in Coolify so Coolify can access the server directly. And we're gonna deploy our new Hetzner server. That is gonna need to finish deploying before we're gonna wanna go back to Coolify and, and talk about it. But the information that we're gonna need to provide to Coolify is this public IP. This is the IP address that anyone can hit on the internet to reach this server. And that's how Coolify is going to access it. So I doubt it'll take more than a minute or two to deploy. Here we go. All done. I already copied the IP. So let's jump back to Coolify. All right. Now that we've given it the IP, we can have Coolify access the server and do the necessary validations and setup. So let's give it a shot. Now, Docker was not installed as part of the base installation of Debian 12. So Coolify is going to go ahead and get all of the dependencies it needs installed. So we'll give it some time for that. Awesome. Okay. We are ready to go. As you can see, this is all mostly magic. I'm not having to do much here, right? Just provide the base information and Coolify is doing the rest. So. We made our first project and now we are dropped into the main web UI of Coolify. And this is where we have the ability to do
do all kinds of fun stuff. So if you have a public repo for the app you want to deploy, you can just provide that link and then go from there. There's also the ability if you have private repos on GitHub, then you're going to need to do a little more work to give it a, an API key so that it can access that, that repo. The other great thing you can do is just deploy straight from Docker or even just from a list of Coolify's long list of all the different apps that they already have set up for you. Single click install of all kinds of apps. Take a look and see if what you're trying to deploy might already actually be part of their services list. What are we going to deploy? I think I will deploy N8N, which I have another YouTube video that I'll link for my overview of how awesome N8N is as a automation workflow engine. And yeah, it's going to cost you, I think, $25 uh, minimum to host on their cloud and you'll have limitations. Whereas we're going to be able to deploy this right here on Coolify. Easy peasy. So let's give it a shot. I chose N8N from the list of one-click installs that Coolify has. I'm going to go ahead and deploy it. Coolify is going to do all the hard work for me. And by the end of this, we should be able to access our brand new N8N instance. We can access the logs to see what's happening with our service. Looks like it should be accessible now. So you can see on the top here under links, this is the auto-generated URL for our new service. We now are able to load our N8N instance. If you see, we go to that URL, but we're getting a um, error because we are loading this with regular HTTP instead of using HTTPS. And so it's not secure. And so this is where we're going to want to set up a custom domain in Coolify. The great thing is if we set up this custom domain, Coolify will handle all of the um, SSL certs automatically using Let's Encrypt which is really nice. It's a pain to do that yourself. Yeah, really, as long as you have a, you know, dot .com domain, go buy one for 10 bucks if you don't have, and then hop into your provider. I use Cloudflare to purchase and host my domains. Recommend Cloudflare. I have a lot of domains. Um, one of those people that just has ideas and then grabs domains, thinking I'm <laughs> going to build it, and then frequently never end up using it. So yeah, I have a the great thing is I can grab one of these to use for this demo. So I'm gonna use agenttofu.com here. You can see right now this is no domain DNS setup has occurred yet. So what we're gonna want to do is set up some A records in our DNS um, to point to our Coolify IP. So what we're going to need to grab from Coolify, if we go to servers and then the server that we deployed is the public IP address. Again, we're going to be using that in Cloudflare in our A record that we make. So the A record is going to need to have the name of the subdomain that we want to navigate to. So it'll be n8n.agenttofu.com and then under here, we're going to put the IPv4 address of our server and very important to disable Cloudflare's proxy, which causes problems for this kind of setup. So once we do that, we will add the record and then we'll drop back into Coolify. You can actually change the domain right here with this little pencil icon. This is where we're going to want to update the domain to match what we just set up in Cloudflare. But you can also go to a uh, into the service directly and you get the, the full form here. What we're going to want to make sure to do is always now start with HTTPS. That's telling Coolify that we want it to 
do the automation of setting up all of the Let's Encrypt SSL certs automatically, really painful to do manually. All we have to do is include HTTPS, and then agenttofu.com, and then we will save. Now, anytime you apply a configuration at this level, you're gonna need to restart your application. And we can just wait a little bit. We could also go and check how we're doing in the logs. Okay, it says that we have redeployed. So now if I go to my other tab here, nice. You can see we are here in N8N and checking my uh, browser, which you can't see, but we have a secure site. We have no warnings. Uh, the Let's Encrypt has been set up by Coolify. Everything is working. We can set up our N8N account and start building workflows. So you can see a little bit of work early on to set up the underlying Hetzner server, connect it with the SSH keys, but we, we powered through that pretty quick. And now we're already hosting N8N for $15 a month, but this is only one of the apps that you can have on your server, on your Coolify account. You can go and start finding other apps that you want to deploy and really start leveraging the fact that this is totally your environment that you own and control. If it starts to bog down, you can add a second server or even a third. There's a lot more capabilities that Coolify allows you to dig into and get familiar with how all of this is working under the hood. But also you can really just stay at this current level that we've been at of deploying either more available one-click apps or your own web apps, your own websites from GitHub. Every time you connect something to GitHub, then it's going to automatically redeploy when you push to your main branch. So you get those auto deploys like you would get in Vercel or Heroku. So I'm really impressed by the level of quality and stability that Coolify is bringing to the open source community. It's really awesome. I hope that this has gotten you interested in trying it and checking it out. And please drop your thoughts, comments in the video below. I'll be happy to help if you have any questions and hope you'll come back for my next video too. Thanks so much.